Okay, in this video, um, we're going to start doing the flip chart, and we're going to do the first tab. And the first tab is functions and domain and range. So we're going to open up, and we're going to go to the first tab, and we're going to start filling it out. Okay, so to remind you, a function is a relation or a set of ordered pairs or a graph where the x value cannot repeat. So, in a function, the x value cannot repeat. Okay, and if you remember, it also has to pass the vertical line test, which means if you draw a vertical line straight down the graph, if it hits the graph, in more than one spot, it's not a function. So it must pass the vertical line test. All right, so let's do some examples of functions. So examples of things that are functions. Okay, so examples that are functions. So all straight lines, except vertical lines, are functions. Um, parabolas that open up or down, they're functions. Um, the absolute value v's that open up or down, they're functions. So something like y equals x is a function, y equals x squared is a function, uh, y equals the absolute value of x is a function. All right, so let's do some ordered pairs that it are a function. So like one comma two is a function, and then three comma two is a function. We don't care what happens with the y's, it's just the x's can't repeat. Uh, let's see, so oh, let's also do a mapping. So in a mapping, um, you could call this x, you could call this y, or you could call this domain and this range, okay? Um, so let's go back up here real quick. And let's go over that. So domain is the x value, or the first number in the ordered pair, or the independent variable. And it's also called the input. Okay, range is the y value the dependent variable, and the output. Okay, um, so back to examples of functions. So I could have like one, two, three, as long as none of these numbers repeat. And over here I could have three and four, and I could draw a line to three, I could draw another line to three, I could draw one to four. As long as I don't have two arrows coming from one of these numbers, it is a function. Okay, um, also say I had a graph, and let's say the graph goes like this, and it is a function. Okay, and it just keeps going like that. And let's say this goes up to two, and this goes down to negative two. Okay, so let's say we want to know the domain and the range. So the domain is all the x values. So it goes all the way to the right and all the way to the left. So the domain is from negative infinity to infinity. Um, and also the range, well, let's see, the smallest number in the range is negative 2. And the smallest number, the largest number in the range is 2. So it's from negative 2 to 2 inclusive. So like that. Okay, let's do some examples of what are not functions. So some that are not functions. Well, um, so not a function. Well, in a function, the x can't repeat. So let's make ones where the x do repeat. So let's see. Uh, let's do a, some pictures first. Let's go, okay, well that one, the x repeats over and over and over. That's where it's x equals a number, whatever number. Um, if it's a V and it goes that way, that's not a function. 
um, if you had ordered pairs. Let's see if I had one comma three and then two comma four and then later I had one comma five. Oh, not a function because it's um, the one is repeating. Okay, so let's see. Uh, another picture. Let's do a picture again. Let's make one like maybe this and let's make, I don't know, let's make a, uh, let's make a circle. Okay, so, and then this is three, and this is negative three. So X and Y, or domain and range, or independent dependent. So this is an X squared plus Y squared equals, and the radius is three, and so it equals nine, because it's always three squared. Anyway, so the domain is from negative three to three inclusive because the littlest x is negative 3 and the biggest x is 3 and then the range oh actually is also negative 3 to 3 so I probably should have made it into an oval or something make them a little bit different but anyway um, the range is also negative 3 to 3 okay um, and if we did it in mappings so maybe we have one, two, three, and over here we could also have one, two, three, and we got an arrow to one, and then we got an arrow to two, and then we got another arrow from two to three. Oh, and it's already not a function. And we'll call this domain and range. Or we could call it input and output, or we could call it x and y. Um, so this is x equaling a number. This is a, the absolute value, but it's not the x being the absolute value, it's the y. So this was the review of functions and domain and range.